today's video, I'm starting off my day quite early. I have been trying out a new workout routine and schedule. So I have really been enjoying my mornings doing that and just being able to start the day early. I'm really glad you're here today. I'm so excited to share this week's vlog with you. So let's get diving into it. My workout is complete and hubby just left to work. I was helping him pack up and just get his stuff ready for the for the day. Made him some coffee, which brings me to share with you my favorite coffee creamer right now. My mom introduced me to this creamer and it's probably been around for some time, but I'm new to it and it tastes so yummy. I love it. Let me show you what coffee creamer I'm currently loving right now <laughs> so right now i have been loving this coconut creamer it is so yummy i just love how smooth it is and how just not it's not too strong not too coconut -y, i guess you can say and i have been loving it i'm going to drink my cup of coffee right now and then i'm going to go get ready i'm probably going to do a little bit of work on my computer and then um, i'll go get ready for the day right now i have been trying the coffee grinds of duncan it's the just like the the regular blend i think the medium roast i believe and it's been tasting so good i usually just have the dark roast starbucks coffee the coffee grinds but lately i have been using the for a couple times now the duncan and i have my ninja coffee maker i shared on instagram i think it was or maybe it was a current video i'm not even sure now what i use for my coffee and this is what i've been using i really really love it if you're in the market in the shopping for a coffee maker and you're a busy person this is the best thing because you can make all sizes and and you can make a whole pot you can just make it like individual and use this little thing that goes down and just make like a cup um, you can make it cold and it already has the measurements right here you can use the measurement spoon I don't know, it's measurement yeah, measurement spoon is the best thing I can think of called. And you fill it up with water and there you go. And it makes coffee really, really good. There's also another one that I really like that my mom uses. And that's how she got me into the screamer. But her coffee machine is a... Um, I'll have to get back to you on what it is. But that coffee machine is really great too. But those are the only two I've been loving. I used to do the French press and just like boil my water and stuff. But I moved away from that because it takes so long. But I still have it. And so yeah, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and go get ready, do some work. And I will see you guys in a little bit. So I just arrived to Michael's. My plan of action today, I have like my whole list of things that I want to do today. But what I plan to do today that I'm going to share with you guys is I'm going to make a stop here at Michael's. And I was planning to go do my nails. I need to get these on my hands removed. They are bugging me and they like look terrible. They got like some kind of yellow coating on them. I don't know. But I've had them for a little bit now. So it is time to take them off and then I'm going to the things I want to buy here at Michael's I would like to share with you guys because I think there are really great ways to prepare for during in the summer before you go back to school some items that I do buy every summer or not every summer but the things that I do purchase in the summer so that I'm ready for the next year for in my classroom I like to buy them ahead of time because they do sell out very quickly sorry um they do sell out pretty quickly and depending on like where you are restock all that good stuff so i like to check out michael's quite early and i'm really realizing today is the second of july where did the time go like i'm like what i didn't even realize yesterday was the first of july even though i'm teaching summer school like i didn't really like I was like, oh yeah, have have a great four day weekend. And then just didn't even realize it was the first of July already. So 
happy July if you're watching this in July <laughs> and um, that's the things that I have planned today some other things I had planned or I put on here working out which I did this morning which I am trying a new routine and I feel like I'm all over the place with my conversation right now but I feel like the mor morning working out in the morning is a lot better for me personally because I'm just really busy in the afternoon like the evening time with the kids and like just e our afternoon routine and I want to make sure that I fit in my workout so I woke up super early this morning and I just put on my workout clothes and I was like okay let's do this uh, my intention was to wake up a little bit earlier but I think I'm gonna have to work my way up to that time and I want to get a good foundation and waking up early and getting my workout in before the school year starts again in August that way I can continue this routine and working out in the mornings early in the morning and then have that evening time off and like get home dinner all that good stuff so I think it's working I worked out today I was like pumped and I felt really good afterward so I think I'm gonna continue it def well I'm definitely gonna continue it and then I will definitely let you guys know if you're interested in like knowing what I do specifically for my workouts and like how what I take for like protein or anything like that please let me know I'd love to share and help ever anyone else who's interested and is also super busy with work and all that stuff I'd love to share with you what I do and maybe it'll work for you who knows so that is what I had planned today um, I do plan on getting some like new plants um, and decluttering getting some stuff to declutter I'm hoping to find some stuff here at Michaels they actually have a sale going on right now I think it's like 40% off a lot of items or 50% off something like that it's a pretty good sale so make sure you're looking out for sales throughout the summer like 4th of July coming up so they have a sale going on right now when you purchase things for your classroom and like organizing stuff at home because they do have sales and it comes out so much cheaper and then on top of that like my teacher discount any discounts that you guys can get put you can put them on on top of your, the sale that they have already most of the time so let's go ahead and go inside and check out what they have going on right now So I'm not here for sunflowers, but all of the sunflower decor is so cute. As you can tell, I love sunflowers based on my tattoo, but oh my god, this stuff is so cute. These are awesome buys. They are on sale for 40% off and they are steel right now. I personally have these and I absolutely love them. In my classroom, they work so great for many different things um, and they're colorful. If you don't like all the color, they have them in clear and they are a whole set of, it includes 16 photo cases. I don't know what I'd use this for, but I think this is so neat. So these drawers open up like this and they're like whole box drawers. I feel like I want this one and find, I would find something for it. Find somewhere I could use in the classroom. So they don't have as many options as I thought they would, but this one seems kind of cute. Yeah, they're definitely sold out and I don't know when they'll have some more for the summer. Sold out. Sold out. Let's see if we can find any more in another area. They don't have too many options. As you can see, it's like pretty sold out. So I think I might wait until or ask if they're going to get like another 
set of them but they are 30% off right now but I'm just um might wait until they restock and see when they might get another shipment and maybe there might be some other ones that I might like So I didn't end up finding any planners. I asked an associate if they're gonna have a, a shipment anytime soon or if they're gonna get any new products out and they she sent on Monday to call on Monday. I definitely in my area will be shopping on Monday or very, very soon next week because they sell out so quickly here in my area. We have only one Michaels within I don't know an hour two hours away so i would definitely be looking for some next week as soon as they put those out i ended up getting a bunch of other little things i will share with you guys as soon as i get home um but i got some really great finds because all of like their summer clear summer stuff was on clearance um and some of their craft storage boxes were on sale too for 40% off and then some of them were more than 40% off so that was really cool so I just got a few things of that right now I'm headed to Target to find some storage stuff for organizing my like medicine cabinet and all of the um like the, the stuff under the cabinets I watched do it on a dime on YouTube and she is so motivational because she shares so many ways so many hacks so many great things that you can how you can organize the, all the stuff in your house so I'm going to go hunt down some of those items that she showed on her latest video on how to organize like the medicine cabinet and make it look less cluttered so I'm gonna head to Target and I will see you there I'm going to hop into Panda Express to get some lunch first. It's already 11.30. Time flies. But I'm actually going to see if they have like Wi-Fi so I can get some work done on my computer. And I was planning to have lunch with my husband, but he is stuck at work. Not um, able, he has like a, like a work breakfast thing or brunch thing going on right now. So I'm not gonna be able to get lunch with him. And it looks like it is going to pour. Like it's getting really cloudy and really dark. Like the dark clouds are really dark over here. So I'm kind of worried that it's gonna start pouring before I get to go to Target and finish some things. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and eat my lunch and then get over there. And then I will be able to do my nails and share with you guys when I get home, some other things that I'm prepping for the summer and the things that I've purchased so far. Okay, so I've just gotten home and it ha it's been raining all afternoon. I jinxed it on myself, I don't know. But it's been, it was raining, so I'm a little wet and 
frazzled, but I went to get my nails done. I got a red and I got my pedicure done. And I absolutely love going to the place I go to here in the area. It's called Aloha. And I just love the like the Hawaiian theme. Um, and just like their service is really nice. And sorry about my dog. He is in the kennel right now because it is raining and he's probably has to go pee, but it's raining. So I want to wait till it kind of dies down a little bit before I take him out. I do want to share with you a couple things that I got today just because there's lots of sales going on right now. And I want to share with you guys some things that I think will be really great and work in the classroom or at home, like functional work at home for you guys and just because like there's like so many deals out there right now like fourth of july and like summer deals um a lot of the times they put out their fall stuff pretty early so if you can go in kind of like mid late july you can get some of those uh, deals and um really snag a really great deal on some things so I went to Tar, I went to Michael's first. So I want to share with you what I got from Michael's. And I got two area rugs that were such a good deal. I had to get both of them because one, the my one from the off my office in here where I'm recording got ruined. That was like my third rug. Um the first time my oldest dog Rocket ruined it. And then this the other two, I think it was two or three the puppy ruined it so hopefully fingers crossed we've got a well training going on and we don't ruin the rug again but let me show you what those two rugs looked like there was only a couple there and i got them for 18 dollars i mean a deal hopefully they're good quality so let me show you what they look like it this is the first one so it looks like this and i think i have that upside down well, that's what it's going to be like. <laughs> okay, so it looks like this, and I can't wait to put it. This one is actually going to go in my dining room area. I hope it's large enough to fit in my dining room area. And then the other one I got for my office is this one. It has like a little bit of pink in there. Very kind of neutral, uh, neutral colors to it. There's like a little splash of hot pink in there and some other colors. But I just love how this looks and I think it's not too bold of a color like I had before and I think it'll like go really well and not be so bold in the in the office. So I'm excited about putting this in here as well. So these rugs are 70% off in the summer section so if you go like toward probably the back or like some section in your local store they're probably going to have a section for clearance right now because they're starting to get out their fall stuff and starting i think like to figure out where they're going to put it so definitely go snag some deals and then i have some other things that i bought that were also on clearance that i'm going to add to my office which is this one, this really cute frame says stronger than yesterday. And that one's also gonna go in here. And I just love like the plant theme. As you can tell, I'm, I don't know what's going on. I'm just like way into the plants right now. And then this pillow is gonna go here where I'm sitting. It says today is the day. And I just loved all the florals on here. And I think that's all I bought from Michael's actually. Oh, no, mine. Okay, I bought some vinyl roll stand holder uh, for my vinyl because I feel like my drawers were really full. So then I bought, oh, some straws I thought were really cool. They're silicone and I liked how they're curved like that. And then, this was on clearance as well, and it's just the numbers. The first one got, the one I had got ruined, and I can't remember how or what happened, but they had this one on clearance for 70% off as well. And last thing, an accent for my shelf, an L for Lara, and that is it from Michaels. So 
everything that I pretty much purchased except for the silicone straws was on clearance for 70% off. And then the, the silicone straws I got for, I guess, 20% off plus my teacher discount. So yeah, it was a pretty good deal. Okay, so from Target, I didn't, this, today I didn't get a bunch of stuff that are for the classroom. I only got, I think like one thing, but I did, ha I have purchased some things for the classroom that I do want to share with you guys, but I'm not sure if I'm going to share with you in this video, um, but I've just like been collecting things and putting them together in my garage and like just have like a big pile of what I'm going to take to my classroom. But I did get this from Target. It's it's actually glass, so I'm hoping to put like, and it's it's all the way deep inside. Like it's the container goes all the way down, so it's not just up to here. And I think I'm gonna put either candy or I'm gonna put our eraser buddies in here. And I just thought this was so cute. They have a this white one and a red one as well. And then I bought these two containers, and I'm gonna put these in my bathroom I think to store and they're like stack ons and then I got this super cute basket that I'm gonna put don't know yet where <laughs> and I got some other storage things and a basket for blankets but a lot of these things were fairly priced and were on sale so there are some really great sales right now for organization these things fit so cute in the Oh, this was from Michael's, sorry. But all of these things fit really well in the classroom as well for storage and organization and just being able to organize and label it makes it a lot easier for your students and for the teacher. Okay, some other things I got from Target that were like in the dollar section. I got this pegboard. It was only $5 and I thought it was a really good deal. Something that you could have in your classroom. I think this would work really great like in the writing station or center and then having like the some of the crayons and like color pencils and stuff up here i think it would give it a really nice touch in the classroom i won't specifically be using it for my classroom i'm actually going to be using it here in my office and it's going to go back there you can kind of see it from the camera view and it's like with my cricut stuff um and that's what i'm going to be using it for I'm wondering though, like where are, or what are these? Like in the picture, you can kind of see it from the picture. They're like the little holders, but I don't, I didn't see any holders. So I'm wondering if it's gonna fit like any kind of container. I don't know. So we'll see. And then I also got this, it's called a Lazy Susan. And this will work really great in the classroom just because it rolls like this and you can just like stand it. This was $5. I'm gonna be using it with my cleaning stuff under my cabinet and you can like roll it this way for to get access to some of those things. But I thought this was a really great idea for the classroom. I would have grabbed another one, but they only had one. So I was kind of bummed about that. But this would work really great in the classroom, like in each, each, in each group table. I feel like I could put different things on each, on each table and then it rotates really well for each group. Like I could put the color pencils and all those things if you're, um, if you have like tables at in your classroom instead of desks like I prefer, then that would this is gonna work so great. And I, you could just use it for different things um, that I can't really think of anything else right now, but I feel like it would have a lot of uses in the classroom as well. So this is called the Lazy Susan. Um, and the design is super fun. I love all like the confetti look to it. So this was only $5. And then the next thing I got from Target is this makeup storage, but I'm not gonna be using it for makeup. I think it would be really great purpose in the medicine cabinet, but in the classroom, it would work really well to organize all of the 
writing you writing materials like the scissors and so lakeshore has their own design for like an organizer like this and it's like really big and it's wooden really really nice and it's a little bit pricey a little bit more on the expensive side maybe if you have like an allotment that would be a really good purchase to organize all of the writing materials but this would be a really great alternative they do have different colors but i like the clear look specifically for like the home use uh, but it also would be really great to use it in the classroom because you could you could personalize it in your classroom as well and then the color the, like the writing utensils the crayons and all of that those colors would pop out anyways so having like a clear one might be a really nice touch to it but this was only five dollars and they have, of course, different ones. I think they had like a grayish looking one and then like a black charcoal looking one. I can't really remember, but I think this would be so, this the storage compartment of this is so ideal for organizing and it works really, really well. And that is it. I'm trying to think of anything else I purchased. Nope, that's it. That's all I've got so far today. I was exhausted after going to two stores and, and then I was on my way home and I was almost home into the community and I realized, oh my gosh, I was gonna go do my nails. And um, then I had to turn around and go do that. But after two stores, I was pretty exhausted. And like I said, I have other things that I purchased in the stores and I hope like the clips that I showed you of the things that they have out right now are helpful. I'm really bummed out that Michaels didn't have yet out the planners and things like that and, I, and they didn't have the bulletin paper that I was looking for. So I'll have to go another day to, sorry, my, that was my phone. I'll have to go another day to look for that but I'll definitely post it on my Instagram or somewhere else what I do get for next year's like planner and bulletin boards and things like that. So that is it for today's haul. I know it wasn't too much, but I hope it was helpful to see kind of what is out there and how I use the things that I buy sometimes in my home and sometimes at school. Um, and I kind of interchange them and see what works best for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching that and I hope you got some ideas as well. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I don't, it wasn't too long, but I hope you guys enjoyed being with me and spending the day with me on this lovely Friday. And I hope you got, hope you got some ideas as well. Let me know down in the comments below what were your favorite items or some things that you purchased so far in your classroom. I'd love to hear some of the things that you bought that are going to be in your classroom for next year and thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content that i'm sharing with you and it shows me your support as well so thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye